So today we are at the big market in Hanya, and we're here with Kula Veradakis, who is an expert chef and cookbook author. We wrote a cookbook together, actually, The Foods of Crete. And we're going to be talking about some of the different foods in the market. And you can see that the market goes on for, I don't know, half a mile. It's an amazing uh, amount of food. So let's go take a look at the market. So here we have the local mandarins, and of course, oranges, avocado, all grown locally. Amazing uh, and tasty fruits from uh, of Crete, which we use a lot. It seems like everybody, uh, at least in the villages, have their everybody own. Everybody does have their own trees, so we all get a lot of bags of a lot of fruit, yeah. a lot, and we use it a lot. One of the things about the Mediterranean diet that uh, is the most important is that it's a plant-based diet, which means that the majority of the food that is eaten is from plants. Artichoke and the beans, uh, broccoli, cauliflower, uh, the wild asparagus, and tomato. One of the vegetables that we use a lot on, on the Cretan diet ever since they came to Crete is potato. Uh, we grow them here a lot, and they're very tasty. And uh, almost every day in a dish, we use potatoes. That's so, one. Of, that's one of the things that I think people have a misconception about. They think that people don't eat potatoes no, they in would, the Mediterranean. No, they do. They do. And of course, a lot of fresh eggs in the Cretan diet, always. Here, here are all, all the local chefs that we use a lot on our Cretan cooking. It's um, parsley, mint, we have mint, fennel, and of course dill, which they look very similar, but they're not. And we do use them a lot. And spinach, amazing spinach, fresh spinach, which we use a lot in Akhetan cooking for pies, for risottos, and in many dishes with meat and in salads, of course, because it's uh, full of iron. Sescula, another amazing dish which we, we put in pies when we make mixed greens. And of course, you can make uh, dolmades out of these leaves. Is that Swiss chard? Yes, I oh, think yeah. it is. Yeah. And all the different uh, leafy, uh, uh, leafy plants for uh, salads. Oh, here we have all the local olives. Very tasty. Yes, us. One of the uh, you know big parts of the Mediterranean diet is both olive oil and olives. Ameriki. And today, um, you know, we're at the market, and you can see all the different types of olives here that we and have. I can I can tell you something that might interest you a lot. When we fast, like now before Easter, and it's um, we don't get a lot of protein. Olives do have olives will give you protein. Ah, I did not. I didn't yeah, know that. it's a, a great, a big source of protein, and we eat it a lot when we fast with bread, plain in a salad, or or the paste of olives, which is amazing on bread or us. Is that different from tapenade, or is that the same? Very similar. Similar, except it looks like it's more, it's, more It's pureed. more plain, more pure of olive. Yeah. Yeah, more olives. And a, a good source of protein is walnuts. Yes. Walnuts as well, and raisins that give you a lot of energy. So when we fast, our parents always gave us a handful of raisins and walnuts or almonds to eat, because they do grow locally, so we do have a lot of that. This is the local Graviera cheeses, and this is with is spicy. Then we have a feta cheese, uh, a local feta cheese, which is really good, very tasty. And then fresh goat cheese, which we use in bureki. We do the pies with this. We make all the cheese pies and all. It's, uh, it's amazing. And of course, it's always honey with cheese. It's the best uh, snack. Are most of the cheeses here um, from grass-fed animals? Or? Yes, from grass-fed yeah. animals, yes it is. And of course, 
amazing yogurt. Yes, of course. From, yes. We had yogurt and honey for breakfast. Yes, that was which amazing. Is very, it's very good. Uh, here we have the local honey because in Crete, as you probably know, we have the best time honey. But also we have a lot of more um, taste or in the honey, depends where the bees are. So we do have amazing honey and all the, all the products from the bees. And of course, candles from the, from the leftover, which uh, they don't throw anything, they use everything. This is the mountain tea, actually, of Crete, which is, is the most amazing aromatic herb that we make ta a tea out of it. Uh, the botanical name is Sibiritis, and we do use it a lot um, in Crete every morning. Uh, the older generations, mostly, they will have tea in the morning and no coffee. Coffee will be later on of the day because it, has, it gives you energy and it, it, give, it gives you, it revives you. It's an amazing tea and it grows in the mountains of Crete.